How's it going, everyone? Welcome yourselves back to the Road to Glory. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Also known as Chaplin's Chaps. Don't worry about the shadows moving behind me. That's just my dog wandering in front of the light again. So, plan for today's video. Very, very simple. We're going to get the team ready for Champs for the weekend. But the team is not only going to be based around Chaplin, as always. A goat! They're also going to be based around whatever we get from this new 86 plus Encore Hero Pack. And by new, I mean, I haven't opened it yet. So, we're going to open this. Whoever we get has to go into the team. Let's hope we get someone decent out of it, please. We're starting off with it straight off the bat. No time wasted. 86 Encore Hero Pack. Who have we got? That's Italian. Centre mid, Marchisio. That, that's... I'm not complaining at that. That's Fantasy Hero, Marchisio. Anticipate Plus and Block Plus. He must be worth something, surely. Hullet Gang card. Okay, what does he sell for? He's 400k! Couldn't have asked for anything better. Well, I mean, I could have. I could have asked for, like, Ginola or something, but... Fantasy hero Marquisio. Yes, please! Okay, that's decent. Straight into the club, and I'm gonna go build a squad around him. Okay, so as it stands, this is the team I'm going to take into champs for the weekend. I grudge playing Wolf because, like I say every week, I'm not a massive fan, but he gets me chem to my two favourite defenders in Matson and Willy Orban. Puyol, who we packed in the last video, goes straight in for this one. Marquisio, of course, in the team as planned. Gerard and Sawa stay there. Lauren James is coming in at striker. Not often I'll use a five-star skill move player, but we'll give her a bash and see how she goes. I mean, she's got 84 stamina, so chances are she won't be playing for the entire game anyway, but we'll give her a bash. Athenia or Athenia? Athenia, I think is how it's pronounced. Uh, yeah, really, really good player. So annoying. And of course, the legend that is Connor Chaplin. Five-star, five-star Connor Chaplin, by the way. 1,352 games played. One player I'm not going to have in, but I kind of wish I did, is this Clint Dempsey. So I got the Golazo hero of Dempsey. Can't remember where from, but I've put him into the Evo because I think the final version of this card actually looks pretty decent. Speaking of Evos, so like I say, we're working on Heroic Chronicles for Dempsey. And at the end, this is what he looks like. 91 pace, 90 shooting, 91 passing, 90 dribbling, 90 physical. Really, really good stats overall. And yeah, kind of... Kind of a card I'm enjoying using so far, but need to finish the Evo first before he goes in. Obviously, birthday magic ends in like eight days time for Taylor, 16 days for Silky Center Half for Wolfie, and for Radioactive Precision, of course, we put Evans into it, but loads of time to finish that one off. What I think I'm going to do is for backline to frontline, I'm between Torres and Carpenter. Carpenter mainly because I need a consistently solid, good right back. They were great when I first evoed them, and they go up to 91 rated, but I think the play styles are a waste. However, it would give them nine play styles overall, which is really solid for a right back. The high-low work rates aren't great for defensively coming back, but we all know I have a tendency of pushing my full backs a little bit further up anyway. The other option is Pau Torres, another previous evo. This was back at Centurions, so yeah, he's been evoed quite a while away. He's six foot three, goes up to four star weak foot, and gets power header and aerial plus now i think those play styles suit his his body type and everything better but he is a bit lacking on the defensive play styles or overall play styles as well i don't know it's just he looks like a really good card a really good center half to have composure is 82 reactions are 90 interceptions 88 when you slap a shadow on him and yeah he's pretty solid already has 93 jumping and 90 head and accuracy with aerial and power header plus two great defensively in the air awesome target for corners torres might be an option and then radioactive dynamo i've still got time to unlock so i'm not rushing to do it. Club 99 shooting. Most of all, he was still the an option. So was Bordieu. Alhamidi can't go into it because of the two playstyle pluses, but Athenia can. Now, it would give her two playstyle pluses, but I almost think for her stats, it's kind of worth it because she already feels incredible for an 86 rated card. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So yeah, short, sharp, to the point for Fridays. As always, we are prepped for champs for the weekend. It is Friday as I'm recording this, so I am going to go and start <sighs> my champs games. Let me know what you've got planned for champs for the weekend. Any new cards you're using, anything you're trying out, any new tactics, post them in the comments down below. And if you haven't done so already, a quick click of the like button if you like the content, and a click of the subscribe button if you're new. I'll see you on the other side on Monday. Let's see how Marquisio gets on. Peace love you, bye. <laughs>